Hi, I'm Ashley and I'm on the Microsoft Photos app team. Here today I'm with Alex, who's a Burton Girl ambassador, and today we're going to talk about some video editing within the Microsoft Photos application. Hey everybody, I'm a Burton Girls ambassador and we have this motto, get down, rise up, and it encourages women and young girls to really ask themselves like, what are you passionate about? What are you passionate about pursuing and what makes you rise up? Like what makes you get up every day and, and go do that? And it really encourages us to be strong, independent and creative. So I'm a chef and I'm an entrepreneur and I know how to cook, but I don't understand technology at all. And so I'm here today to learn a little bit more to kind of take my business to the next level and create some really beautiful video content. So with the Microsoft Surface and the Photos app, you're actually gonna be able to do quick and easy editing on the go. And I think we're gonna tell the story of some really delicious cake, right? It is delicious. <laughs> um, it's a gluten-free Meyer lemon cake. It did really well on my social media. It does really well every time I make it. And so I kind of want to push that in, in, into video content and really give it that pop. Sounds sweet. And citrusy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what did you bring me? I brought you a bunch of photos of me in the kitchen, on the mountain, and then I took some video of me actually cooking this gluten-free Meyer lemon cake, but I have no idea how to edit it. So with the Photos app on the Surface laptop, it's actually gonna be really easy. You just drag and drop your content. Wait, you're touching the screen. Yeah, it's touch screen. Yeah. I've never seen something like this before. Well, I'm glad that I'm here to show you how easy it is to also work and how quickly it is to edit on the Photos app. So do your Burton girls, when you guys are out on the mountain, do you guys use cameras or anything like that to record? Yeah, for sure. We use um, handheld cameras and we take video footage of each other and they're gonna freak out. And once I learn how to edit on this thing, I'm gonna be everybody's new favorite person. Right, yeah. they're gonna up their social game hard with yeah. the new Photos app this and awesome. editing it, yeah. Awesome, so I feel like we have all of our ingredients. So you ready to make a video? I'm ready to make a video. See what you did there with the ingredients. <laughs> I'm trying to take your day job. Don't so. take my job. <laughs> <laughs> so let's start with this photo here. Um, it looks like you're cutting the cake, but it does look a little dark to me. It is dark. Thank you for noticing. I don't have very much natural light in my apartment. I live in a canyon with a bunch of trees, so I would love to know how to brighten this up. Cool, so don't fret because in the Photos app, um, you can actually adjust the brightness and the contrast, so we could essentially take that and lighten it a little bit. Cool. Or we could completely crop it out if you're like, I just hate this shadow, I just want the cake. Um, we could totally do that as well. And so something like this, it's a little off-center. Could I rotate it and crop it that way as well? Yeah, so that's actually a really great way in the way that we encourage people to use the crop tool is that if you have a bigger picture and you wanted to scale it down or if it's a little bit off center, you can just crop it down to where it looks like it instead of having to retake the photo. Okay, so I've got to ask about filters. Yeah, I mean, we are in LA. So. We are in LA, we need a filter. I have a beautiful spray tan, I am a walking filter. Show me filters. <laughs> okay, so filters here are actually gonna be really easy to use. You're gonna have things like black and white filters all the way to your artistic trendy filters, but you can also apply a filter to video. You just click the filter you want and then it's applied to the full video. Amazing. Okay, so speaking of video, I've got this clip here and it's a little long. How do I trim it? You can actually click on this trim button right here. Um, and again, we're editing a video while using touch. Like that's unreal, that's so cool. Um, and all you have to do is drag this little marker where you want it to end and then essentially pick where you want it to begin as well. Another thing too with this is the fact that you don't have to worry about your original clip because it saves your original content and doesn't overwrite it. And then you have this additional content that's this little trim clip with the filters or any specific editing time frame that you want. Now I wanna talk about text because in these cooking videos, I feel like text is really important. Yeah, so you can remember the recipe, but also for people like myself who sometimes multitask in meetings yeah. and I can't have sound on, I can actually see what the recipe is and what I'm planning to make for dinner or for the weekend. So let's add some text to your video. I'm sure you know the ingredients for the recipe off the top of your head. By heart. Okay, cool. So if we actually click on text, it allows us to type in whatever we want. You don't have to worry about spaces or anything because it automatically formats it for you. And there's like different fonts too. Yeah, there's different filters for your text. So you can pick all kinds, you just have to find one that fits what your video content is. So I'm feeling like poetry is probably going to be a pretty good one. 
um, because it's very simple and wide. We could do something crazy like adventure where it's like green and orange. Whoa. But then it's a little too extreme. Yeah, you don't really We're see. just making cake. I mean, making cake can kind of be extreme. Okay? Extreme cakes! <laughs> <laughs> you can add the text in different places throughout the video. I actually really like the one in the middle because it looks a lot like what your traditional cooking videos will look like, mm -hmm. but it's your video, so what do you think? Um, I like it too. I think it's really clean and simple and you can still see the action behind it. I think we've almost created your masterpiece here. Um, there's a few more things. Let's add some confetti to your cake. What? Yeah. Okay. And the, the awesome part is the fact that it's 3D. So let's pick the confetti. So now that we've figured out what 3D effect we want to use, we're actually going to go ahead and track it on the object. So I don't want your confetti to show up on the cake as if it's a topping. I want it to stay with your eyebrows as if you're controlling it with a superpower and your confetti is kind of just showing up. So I literally just touch this button and then it's tracked. And so let's hit play and see what it looks like. Wow. And it was not hard at all. It's literally just dragging and dropping. Yep. This looks incredible. But what about music? Yeah, music is an important part of any video. Let's go ahead and take a look at the music that the Photos app on any Windows 10 PC has. Okay. And I'm gonna let you take the wheel this time. Let's do this one here. This one's like a little too spy for me. It's like, where's the cake? Maybe we're breaking into Maybe we're like breaking in. into a bakery to eat the yeah. cake, but we want to focus on making the okay, cake. Let's okay, try let's this pick one. another one. I'm gonna do that one. I like this. Yeah. It's sweet. It is. It it's totally nice. Is. Yeah. It reminds me of just good times. All right, so I'm gonna make you even happier. Then. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, actually check this button because what it's gonna do is it's gonna sync all of that music to your video. So one of the biggest things about video editing and time consuming things is being able to track your transitions to the actual song cool. to make sure that it's in line with the beat. And the Photos app does it all for you. Okay, I'm ready to watch it. What about you? I'm excited. Cool, so let's go ahead and watch the video. While we're doing that, think about where you wanna share it, okay? All right. Sweet. How fun! That wasn't hard at all. Mm -hmm. This would have taken me hours to do before. Yeah, well, I'm glad to hear that. Now, one more thing and then we can kind of okay. tie it all up. Where do you want to share this? Uh, on my social media platform, for sure. That's the whole point of this, is I want to be able to generate as much content as I can, not only in the kitchen, but on the mountain, and on my social channel, as well as Burton Girls. So, before we share, let's recap. We imported your photos and videos directly to the uh, Surface laptop, and we added text, filters, right. we actually uh, added 3D objects and effects as well, and we threw in some pretty awesome music that's timed to the beat. So, I don't know, are you ready to share it? I think I am. All right, click that button. And now it's out there. That's it. That's it. It's out there in the universe to make cake. This was amazing. Thank you so much. I learned so much today. Do you think you'll take this home and use it? Absolutely, I've got tons of footage that now I know how to edit and I'm really excited to start using the Photos app. Awesome, I am more than willing to come help you and give cool. you kind of more Thank of a you. tutorial. One stipulation, what? there has to be cake. Fine, I will make you cake. Yes, all right, let's do it. All right, thank you again. Of course. Is that a wrap? Yes, everybody, clap your